Adi Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, Nairobi. Chief of Staff and Head of Public Service Felix Kuske has put corrupt police officers on notice, saying they will be held individually responsible. Kuske said there will be no longer backpacking or sacred cows in the war to end cases of bribery and other forms of corruption within the police service. The Head of Public Service spoke during a consultative meeting with senior police officers at the Kenya School of Government, where he called on officers to live within their means as a way of eradicating corruption. Hassan Mugambi with the details. Police bosses drawn from all 47 counties in eight regions in the Republic converged at the Kenya School of Government for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with their boss and head of public service Felix Koske. A conversation on how to slay the dragon of corruption. And here, Koske stated that Inspector General Jafet Kome will no longer shoulder the blame of misdeeds by individual officers. There will be no protection for officers involved in corruption. Nobody. Neither will there be a place to hide or sacred cows. Accountability will be down to the individual level. As we speak now here, we cannot be saying, for example, a service is corrupt, and then we start hanging the IG. Quoting an ESCC report, Koske pointed out some of the free services that have been commercialized in police stations across the country, asking Kenyans to stop paying for them and report those that will be extorting them. If you are seeking a P3 form, I don't know whether you give out P3, I don't know. An average across the country is 15,000. If you want to bail an arrested person, you pay an average of 13,000. If you are seeking police abstract, you pay an average of 12,000. If you want to release an imbounded goods, you pay an average of 10,000. When you are following up a case, you pay an average of 10,000. The head of public service pointing out stretched police pay slips burdened with loans as one of the causes of graft, especially for junior police officers to engage in illegitimate ways of fending for their families. That 86% of us have overborrowed is something that we need to correct so that we can live comfortably, we can fend for ourselves, and we can run our own affairs comfortably without having stress. Police Inspector General Jaffet Kome on his part stated that his investigations had shown that there are senior police officers deploying their juniors to extort from citizens on their behalf, warning of stern action across all ranks. Tuna kamera ziku wapa, media wako wapa, tunaeleza wananchi, tunansa kusema sisi, polisi, ni wasafi kama pamba. Halafu unakamatu wana ESCC, what do you tell your child? Unanza kuambia mtoto wako dikuwa na tafutu ya school office, ni kupereke shule nzuri. Anakuliza, dad, did I say to you? Did I make that request to you? Can we say enough is enough? The National Police Service Commission Chairperson Eliud Kinudia saying that the commission is already dealing with the vice, adding that a small number of officers are out to tarnish the name of the entire service. 47 disciplinary offences were of corruption in nature and the National Police Service Commission took the following disciplinary actions against the 47, 27 were dismissed, Four officers' uh, ranks were reduced, 12 officers were removed, and the two were acquainted. So you the senior officers were all directed to draw an anti-corruption framework within the next month and see to it that the plan of action is implemented to the letter. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV. And that